It's time now for Little East End Local News. Happy Groundhog Day. Governor Brian Kemp will join a group of Republican officials at the U.S. border this weekend to back Texas Governor Greg Abbott's standoff with President Joe Biden over immigration policies. Kemp's one of 15 GOP governors headed to Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, where Texas officials put up a system of wire along the Rio Grande to prevent migrants from illegally crossing into the United States. The U.S. Supreme Court sided with the Biden administration last week by allowing U.S. Border Patrol agents to cut or remove parts of the barrier. Governor Abbott ordered officials to continue to roll out the wire despite the court's 5-4 decision, saying Texas had a right to prevent what he called an invasion of migrants. Kemp's visit to the border comes amid a growing political battle over immigration in election year, where the issue has already emerged as a pressing priority for many voters. The number of people illegally crossing the United States from Mexico has reached record levels, and Governor Kemp has stated publicly that the president and his allies have missed too many chances to stop the illegals from crossing the border. Kemp says, quote, every state is a border state now, that, and that includes Georgia. That's why I stand with Texas Governor Abbott to stop the insanity at the southern border, because the president and the White House simply will not, will not, again, Governor Kemp at the border this weekend. Before he left the state of Georgia, he did sign the anti-Semitism law, declaring, quote, there is no place for hate in this great state of Georgia. He says it's time for Jewish people to be able to stop suffering from bigotry. Surrounded by a packed bipartisan crowd at the state capitol on Wednesday, Governor enacted the bill that defines anti-Semitism as part of Georgia's hate crimes and discrimination law. Kim said, quote, acts of hatred have taken on many forms, including harassment, intimidation, and unfortunately violence. Georgia has not been immune to that horrible reality. He says in Georgia, we stand with our Jewish brothers and sisters, end quote. And this bill stalled last year, but became a priority for Georgia's elected leaders after the Israel-Hamas war, which began back on October 7th of last year. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Wayne County Commissioners are set to meet this coming Monday, February 5th at 6 p.m. at the County Commissioner's Meeting Room. The agenda is out. Under Citizens Concerns, Kellen Croy, Wayne County Board of Health, New Laws and Fee Changes. Juan T. Lucky to talk about consider proof granting of J.C. Landing Fairground Building. Under New Business, a lot of items on their agenda. Consider proof fee changes and new laws that the state has developed for the Board of Health. Consider approved opioid funding. Consider approved purchase of road equipment. Consider approved timber ridge drainage repair. Consider approved senior center architect. Consider approved purchase of two trucks for the recreation department and one truck for the fire coordinator. Consider approved contract for appraisal services for the tax assessor's office. Consider approved resolution for the election board. Consider approved amending the 2023 general fund budget. Consider approved amending the 2023 ARP budget. Consider approved 2024 budget for ARP. Consider approved 2024 budget for revolving loan fund. Consider approved replacing engine on track hoe. And consider approved purchase of bleachers for the agricultural complex. One board appointment on the DFACS board. Items with the administrator, items with the county clerk, items with commissioners. All that's set for this coming Monday at 6 p.m. at the county commissioner's meeting room. Chamber of Commerce selling tickets to their annual State of Education luncheon. That's set for Thursday, February 15th at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets are $30 for chamber members, $40 for non-members, but everyone is invited to attend. All takes place at Coastal Pines Technical College that day from 11 to 1. The date, once again, Thursday, February 15th. On the program will be Wayne County School Superintendent Dr. Sean Kelly and the president of Coastal Pines Technical College, Mr. Lonnie Roberts, Sherry Bowen, who heads up Wayne Christian Academy, and Elizabeth Williams with Coastal Plains High School. Any more information or a ticket, simply stop by or call the chamber number 912-427-2028. Wayne County senior student Aiden Jones, son of Greg and Melanie Jones of Jessup, has been selected as one of more than 5,000 candidates in the 2024 U.S. Presidential Scholars Program. Candidates are selected from nearly 3.6 million students across the United States who are expected to graduate from high school this year. Inclusion in the program is one of the highest honors bestowed upon a high school senior. Scholars are selected on the basis of superior academic and artistic achievements, Leadership quality, strong character, and involvement in community and school activities. Distinguished panel of educators will review the 5,000 candidates and enter the field down to 600 semifinalists in April. And U.S. scholars will be announced in May. Once again, our congratulations to Aiden Jones, a senior at Wayne County High School, selected as a candidate in the U.S. Presidential Scholar Program. Hog hunters will be in Wayne County February 16th through the 18th as the Wayne County Board of Tourism's annual hog jam is set. Statewide hunt begins at 2 p.m. on Friday, February 16th, ends on Sunday, February 18th at 12 noon. Registration for the hunt will close at 6 p.m. on Friday, February 16th at 6 p.m., with on-site registration available at Hunt Headquarters at the J.C. Fair Building. Online registration is open through 2 p.m. that Friday. 
Registration is $50 for bow or gun hunters, or hunters can pay $100 to hunt in both categories. Hunter is 60 and under free, hunt free with the registered adult hunter. All hawks must be weighed into the JC Fairgrounds in Jessup, but participants can hunt anywhere in the state or any of the connecting states that they have legal permission to do so. But hunters must be in line at weigh-in by 12 noon that Sunday or they're disqualified. Participants are responsible for knowledge of the rules, the rules and registration online at their website, waynetourism.com, or you can go to active.com. And the Wayne County Board of Tourism's Hog Jam set for February 16th through the 18th with headquarters at the J.C. Fair building. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes in the news, a town hall meeting is set to discuss the upcoming Spots 5 referendum that will appear on the ballot, and Wayne County registered voters will decide the issue with a yes or no vote. The town hall meeting takes place on Monday, February 12th at the Auditorium of Coastal Pines Technical College from 6 to 8 p.m. that evening. The county officials are encouraging the public to attend to learn more about the importance of this lost vote. On the program will be County Administrator Paul Drotty, along with Mayors Ralph Hickox of Jessup, Greg Grosier of Odom, Georgia, and Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver. Once again, the public invited to attend that town hall event. The date, once again, Monday, February 12th at the Coastal Pines Signal College Auditorium between 6 and 8 p.m. Early voting begins on Monday, February 19th, runs up until Friday, March the 8th. Also, two Saturday early voting dates, Saturday, February 24th, and Saturday, March 2nd. Advanced voting takes place at the Crack Wiggins Rec Center, which is located at 245 East Bay Street in Jessup. Also on that date, the presidential primary, the last day to register to vote in the presidential primary to vote for this Plus 5 referendum is set. The, if you need more information, contact the Wayne County Registrar's Office. That number is 912-427-5950. The Long County Health Department is hosting a heart health event February 8th. They state, show your heart some love this February. Get your blood pressure and blood sugar levels checked. Long County Health Department is hosting that free event on February the 8th from 10 to 12 noon and from 1 to 5 p.m. They're offering blood pressure checks and blood glucose checks tests with no appointment needed. The free screenings will be done at the clinic in Long County at 584 North Macon Street in Ludwissi. They state most people cannot tell if their blood pressure or blood glucose Glucose levels are high without a test, which is why regular screening is so important. They state without intervention, a high blood pressure can lead to serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. A high blood glucose level can also lead to heart disease. According to the Centers for Disease Control, heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. One person dies every 33 seconds of the U.S. from a cardiovascular disease. Coastal Health District has several programs to help you manage your blood pressure. If you need more information about the programs or the event, you can check out their website at coastalhealthdistrict.org slash healthy living. And the next blood drive in Wayne County is set for the Calvary Baptist Gymnasium. The date Monday, February 19th from 1 to 6 p.m. This is sponsored by the Jessup Shriners Ladies Auxiliary. Again, the blood drive at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium located at 415 East Cherry Street. Again, they ask you to please visit redcrossblood.org and enter Jessup to schedule an appointment. Once again, the blood drive set for Monday, February 19th from 1 to 6 p.m. at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes away in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day.